2001, Doc Martin, The Movie, or rather it's called The Movies for some reason. Um, this is a character that was taken from a movie called Saving Grace. It was a mediocre, mediocre movie. It was okay, but meh. Uh, Doc Martin, The Movie, he's a spin-off character. Now, to put it into proportion, Martin Clunes, who stars in it, yes, he was a baby face. He was about 40 years old, maybe 41 in the movie. By the time Doc Martin wrapped up last year, he was in his 60s. Now, they only did 10 series in two movies, but it spanned about 22 years, 21 years. So it's not a bad run. I've only watched two episodes in full. I've seen a little clip here, a little clip there, and it just seems tedious and boring. Until you actually watch the bloody thing. And it is very engaging, very engrossing. And um, I'm currently in the process of downloading all ten series. I've got the, the first two movies, I've got the first series, and I've nearly got the second series. So I'm going to do the whole lot. Um, yeah. It was very engrossing. It's going to be a bit of a shock seeing him as he was 22 years ago. But still, Martin Clunes, Doc Martin, how it began. It is sometimes a bad thing to do reviews online. For example, you do a search for the movie and it actually says a story about a doctor who finds out his three best friends are shagging his wife. Um, yeah, spoiler. And he's got a different surname in this, so it's called Doc Martin, and he is a doctor, and his name is Martin. But in the two movies, his surname is Banford, and in the series, is Bellingham, or it's, it's something, it's a different surname, which is a bit weird. He's got a lot more aggression in him here. The picture quality is really diabolical. I need to get a better, co better copy. To, in order to get the whole lot in one go, uh, it's all 720 DPI quality. It's a little bit fuzzy on my telly, but still watchable. Um, a woman cuts him off. He kicks her car, sets off her car alarm, and he shouts at her. He just flipped over the table and he finds that uh, the three best friends is admitted to shagging his wife. Um, the two episodes I've seen of the series, he never had any aggression. He was all too tightly wound, wouldn't show emotion, wouldn't show any aggression. Um, it's good. It's a bit strange having nudity in it. I mean, that's his wife. Oh, saggy everywhere. But, um, yeah, it's okay. It's not quite as good because I know it's a character based on a character that will be changed into another character. So whether I keep the movies, I'll wait until I see what happens. But it's okay. He is a pathetic character. Because he's it's very common with a lot of people. He tried to confront his wife and she just basically said, well, you were never there. And it, it's, he's a doctor. She's a doctor. The three men she was fucking, at least three, they're all doctors. So it's not as if that's a valid excuse. It's basically she just wanted to. A lot of the time, people won't screw around because they want love or affection or attention. They do it because they can. When I had threesomes, it wasn't because I needed to have sex. I've gone the past 10 years without sex. Not this is anybody else. Without any hassle, I've got no need to go and chase anybody. But if I had three women turned up, I'd fuck them. I've just not been desperate enough to go and chase anyone. People do it because they can. It doesn't have to be some deep-seated deep psychological reason to be unfaithful. But if you make a commitment to somebody, it should be a commitment. When I was having the threesomes, it was my girlfriend's idea. She liked the idea of seeing the look on someone's face when I was fucking them. But, um, until I got her pregnant and her best friend. Anywho, yeah, he basically, I need to get away for a bit, cuts on my appointments, gets on a train, goes to Cornwall. It's nice if you've got the money to just drop out whenever you feel like it. Most people don't. And, um... It is kind of funny. Little things are irritating though. There's a lot of early woke popping up. 
I never noticed any woke in the TV series, but then I've only seen two episodes. Other than the fact that all the straight white people in it have dysfunctional relationships. And this one, you've got like the black man with the white woman in the calf having a happy cuddle session. You've got like little Irish averts in the background, like Kelly's ice cream, which you do not get in Cornwall. You really fucking don't. You get Cornish ice cream in Cornwall. You don't get Irish adverts. But it's, it's a bit slow, but it's okay. It's nice for a change to have something that is not blatantly all white men are evil. Yeah, it's, it is pissing me off a little bit because you've got all this pro... This is when the Irish openly took over Britain. A little bit of background of how the reality of the, situa the situation. America controls every part of the planet outside of a few Asian countries like Russia and China. Uh, Germany tried having a coup last year, 2022, where they actually tried to get their country back from American control. didn't work. They got, this is why they have all this anti-white stuff, anti-white English stuff. That way they can put whoever they want in charge and nobody complains because you've been conditioned not to. There's not been an English politician in charge of England for 20-odd years. Um, 25-ish years ago, late 1990s, the Irish, the IRA... The same terrorists who've been raping, murdering and blowing up England for the past thousand years were put in charge openly. Which is why you've got scenes like this, all this pro-Irish shit, and it's green everywhere. The Cornish flag is green, everything's green, everything's green. The Cornish flag is not green. The Cornish flag is a white cross on a black background. The Devon cross has green in it. But it's mainly white and black with a bit of green squares. Somerset flag is red and gold. It's a red dragon. So th this is blatantly pro-Irish crap and it's unlikely I'm going to keep this movie because it's just it's fucking offensive as somebody who is from the southwest of England. This man, very distinctive face and voice, mannerisms, I've only ever seen him in one other thing that springs to mind, and that is from 20 years before this, so 40 years ago, The Black Adder. And he played Friar Bellows. Yes, it's all right, my son. I will take your daughter and look after her whilst you're away on the Crusades. That's the daughter. And yes, he fucked the ass off her. It's very slow, this programme. Um, I'm trying to ignore the woke aspects of pro-Irish. It's, it's a very, it's a subtle thing for people outside of the West Country because they wouldn't realise they're being brainwashed into thinking that everything green is good because green is the colour of Ireland. Whereas those of us from the, the southwest of England know that it is actually not the national colours. It's not the county colours. It's not the county flag. And it's very, very vexing to be sure, 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 to be sure. Where's my little daughter? Where's my grandchildren? I've got to keep the blood eyes pure. Oh, I've got to have the incest. I've got to have the incest. Oh, be sure, be sure. You get the occasional bit of dry humour. Like, you know, he's set on fire to his wife's picture and then it melts to his thumb. Because that's what happens when you set fire to a photograph. It's plastic. It melts. And then you get the other bit of mystery thrown in like you know who is it that's running around and knocking him over who is it that's rowing the boat in the middle of the dark and who is it running around with a camera attached to a tray of fucking jelly wobbling away like a giant tit with the music dun 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 it's funny this is the kind of weird shit you can happen in little villages in the middle of nowhere where they don't have wi-fi because there's fuck all else to do you make your own drama like playing dominoes in the pub for 40 pence. I'm only 20 minutes in. It's interesting. It feels like two hours in, not 20 minutes, because it is so slow. But um, it's all right. It's kind of good. It's, it's background. And it's a bit interesting. There's fuck all story happening, really. You've got a few things lamplit like set up in the background like who's doing this and who's doing that it, but it's not interesting enough to get your attention it's 
funny. It, it's just you got the da, 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 da. somebody with a yellow uh, rubber gloves running around with a jelly that's going to fall over, and, looks, and it looks like a giant tit. And the next thing you see is a couple of really fat people fucking violently. Well, okay, not violently, but forcefully. They found and a jelly on the doorstep. With a couple of and the, they're looking terrified at it. But are you doing nothing wrong? We're not right. Are you doing not nothing? You won't believe if I open it. So he the, the, the opens the jelly as a picture inside of Polaroid. Back in the olden days, I think you still get them. Polaroid cameras were the only way you could take a photograph, unless you had all your own equipment, like chemicals or the rest of it, of actually developing photos without anybody else seeing them. I think you can do it now by going through like a machine, you plug in your USB stick and whatever. But back then, all you could really do was get a Polaroid camera. And it would cost you like two pounds per photograph. And this was 20, 30 years ago. So, like half an hour's wage. So, but that's my parts. I'm assuming my parts. The jelly maker never lies. Apparently the jelly maker that puts your crimes on your doorstep and never lies. It's weird. It's funny. It's like the, the fear they've got is hilarious. This guy comes down to find a cop dunking a bit of wire in his uh, cloth inside his petrol cap. Well, it's a uh, fuel cap, and it's coming out red. You want to tell me where you got red agricultural diesel in your car? How did you know? It's illegal to use agricultural diesel in a private vehicle because it's a lot cheaper than normal fuel. It's a big, big con job, especially in some countries like Ireland. I uh, said, so how did you know? I got a jelly. I really am torn whether I want to keep this or not. When he's on screen, he is brilliant. He's a lot more animated here than he is in the TV series. And yes, the TV series went on for another 20 odd years after this, because in this he's about 40 years old in real life. Um, I think he was born in 69. Oh no, um, 60 or 61 he was born. So at this point he would be 40, 41 years old. But he's got a lot more energy. A lot more. And he's like screaming at the fish. Are you having trouble down there? Let's do some surgery on you. And he's like, he's doing the whole Basil Forty thing. Bapping and beating up the fish. And he's both chopping it up. Because he's pissed off because he can't get a phone reception. Bearing in mind his telephone is a Nokia. That's about, you know, half a cock length in size. So it's like a really small thing. It doesn't have a camera. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. You can't take pictures or send pictures. The game on it is Snake. You know, a little line that goes, meep, 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 trying to find a dot. Um, it's amusing. Most of it is tedious, but the, it, when he's on screen, it's funny. I in, in the series, he's very straight. Very, very straight. Here, he's screaming, shouting, when I get a gun and kill my wife, and I love being on the boat with the lobsters, and he's now smoking weed. And a lot of people are smoking cigarettes in this, which I don't like because I'm an ex-smoker. But he, he's uh, chugging away on a massive, uh, well, on joints, and yeah. This is very, very removed from the TV series. I'm not keeping this movie for the very simple reason that every, I mean, I'm only... 40 minutes in, but every 20 minutes, that's actually every 10 minutes, but the every 10 minutes is not quite so blatant. Every 10 minutes, they will throw in something Irish. Whether it's every 10 minutes. So the first thing you see that I noticed was Kerry's ice cream or Kelly's ice cream. And then it's Irish colours for the Cornish flag, which is the wrong colour. Then you get little things thrown in, oh, like drinks or whatever. And then at 40 minutes, she starts singing Irish rebel songs. Yeah, that would that would get you shot and stabbed if you did that in the Southwest. Let me control the rest of the fucking country. Yeah, that, that sort of shit is... I'm not keeping this one. Fuck that. Wow, talk about evolution and character. As I say, I've only seen two episodes of the series. And he's very standoffish. Absolute zero zero bedside manner to the point where he's alone because he has no way of knowing how to deal with people not socially not personally not as a doctor 
And yet here, he's having a laugh and a joke when he's, you know, examining the kid. And, you know, he's actually going to the pub and having a laugh. And, it, yeah, it's it's very strange how they changed the character that drastically. It's not surprising they renamed him. When Martin Clunes is on screen, he does command your presence. You get the very, very dark, depressing humour that you get in the series. Like, he finally gets a phone call, and he's, like, happy on the boat from his wife. And she basically, she doesn't want him back. Stay a bit longer so, so I can decide how I, what I want to do with, with my life. What about me? Well, she's the one that's been fucking and sucking her way throughout all of his friends. And yet she wants him to stay away so she can decide what she wants to do. Rather than saying sorry or any kind of attrition or guilt for her. And, and he basically, but I want, he, he, he wants her back, which is completely illogical. And the only reason somebody wants somebody back when they've hurt you is so they can get over their own feeling of inadequacy. But the funny thing is, he gets pissed off because she doesn't want him back, smashes his phone on the on the deck, gets really pissed off because he smashed it. What if she calls me? What if she calls me? He gets angry and throws it into the sea. It's in pieces. And as it sails across, it rings. So it was still working. And now he's just really pissed off because he threw a working phone in the sea. It's... I'm not keeping it. It's too slow. Too drab. And every 10 minutes you have some pro-Irish fucking shit. And, um, but when he's on screen, it's great. Really fucking irritating. You just start to get to enjoy it. The better drama, the better story. And then every 10 fucking minutes... They have to bring out some Irish crap, like Irish IRA fucking terrorist posters in the background, or Irish fucking rebel IRA music playing in the background. Every 10 minutes, regular as clockwork. Yep, aside from the fact he's a doctor, and I think his first name is Martin, this has no connection whatsoever to the TV series, although it is set in the same place. But in the TV series, they rename the place something else. But it's still recorded in the same place. Um, yeah, he he's now quite happy working on the lobster boat, mending lobster pots. He's gone native. So the wife turns up, they fall into each other's arms, and yeah, for fuck's sake. Unfortunately, this is very, very true to life. It's all about ego. And it doesn't matter if it's male, female, female, male, 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 female, whatever. It's all the same. It's all about ego and id. It's that simple. A person does not want to be unwanted. The only thing worse than raping a woman is telling her you don't want to rape her. And will he shag her or not? Honestly, I wouldn't go fucking near it. Knowing that somebody's fucked other people is one thing. Having it rubbed in your face is another. And I, I, I said to my exes, it's very really simple. If you if you go with somebody else, even like cuddling up with somebody else, another guy, I won't touch you again. Just having that knowledge, I wouldn't be able to. I'm not saying I want to shake a virgin. But I, I know that my ex-girlfriends have all been people before they met me. Didn't bother me. But certain things, no, it's like the road well travelled. Would he shack or not? I don't think so. But then this is very far removed from the TV series. So she dressed up like this, transparent sexual lingerie, stockings, all the rest of it. And then and just when he's about to shag her, no. I don't want to. Not yet. I think we should have a lisp, and it's an artificial lisp, you know, pretending, because I think it makes me look cute. No, it doesn't. No, it really doesn't. And, um, no, we shouldn't have sex. We should, we should, we should have counselling. Uh-huh. This is what you call an extremely abusive person. She has to control... She's a, she's a Megan. She has to control everyone and anyone 
in her vicinity. If she can't control them, she won't want anything to do with them. Talking to Meghan Markle, turns out she's still shagging a billionaire. And I'm not talking about Harry. So the phantom jelly guy obviously was either going to be the priest or the doctor. Those are the only two who have access to all people's personal secrets. And also happens to be a transvestite. Yeah, the ending's a bit naff. It comes across as being a very hastily written pilot. That's how it comes across. It's like, it's like at the end of it, he's all living down with his wife to the point where they're snogging to get the train, before they wait for the train to go back to London. And then he fucks up and then he leaves and get on the train and he jumps in the back of the truck. Big smiles, I'm going to be a doctor. And that's it. Yeah, it came across as being a very, very hastily made program. Hastily written. I think the script was done by somebody who had, there was a character in a movie called Saving Grace and they did a very quick story. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got nuts stuck in the back of my throat. No, not that kind of nuts, you pervert. <coughs> Monkey nuts. Or redskins, or you want to call them whatever is racist at the moment. Um... Maybe it was okay. I'm not keeping it. I don't know though. How big's the file size? That's what it comes down to in the end. I'm not going to want to waste space on something that's going <coughs> to... Oh dear. Mind you, it is only a 720 DPI. It's half a gig. Fuck it, I'll keep it. I'm literally only keeping it because it's only half a gig in size. And it did kill a couple of hours to watch. So an hour and a half long. And um... Yeah, as a pilot, it's quite good. And that is how it comes across. There is another movie which came out two years later in 2003. 20 years ago. And the... Which might be a pilot as well. I don't know. It comes across as being a very hastily written movie. <coughs> Freaking nuts! Oh, at least I hate black. Um, so, start it. I'm going to watch the next one, which is... Some weird name. Let's have a look. It's called Doc Martin and the Legend of the Clutie Roo. Okie dokie.